Is the music loud on stage? Pardon? Um, what? Is, uh, is, <laughs> the, <laughs> is the music loud on stage? What? My bass <laughs> isn't. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> fucking here. Yeah. My mum phoned me up the other night. She lives in England. She said, can you tell Geezy to turn down a bit? We're playing in fucking New York. <laughs> when they classed it as heavy metal, well, I've never classed ourselves as heavy metal. I've always said we're a hard rock band. Uh, heavy metal term, I don't know where that came from. But um, I think with Zeppelin and... Uh, Zeppelin were like a... I mean, their power was basically the drums, you know, they got... The, was, was Bonham, was the power behind Zeppelin. But with us, the power is the band, you know, just how we play. Yeah, you know. I think the, um, because I just started uh, playing bass when the band was formed. I used to play rhythm guitar before that, so I didn't even know what a bass player was supposed to do. <laughs> and um, so rhythm guitarist was sort of out of date at that particular time, and uh, Tony didn't want to play with another guitarist. So I said, oh, I'll switch to bass then. And because I didn't really know how to play bass, I just used to follow Tony's riffs. Well, the idea was uh, to to make a sound that would be full and, and create, without having a rhythm, a second guitar player, create a big sound. So we, with the fills Bill would do, and, the, and I'd, I'd do chords and put vibrato on them to make them bigger. And we tried a lot of different ways of, 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 of making the whole thing bigger. You know, we geese the way geezer plays, and he bends the strings. It's uh, the whole, everybody stole, developed more and more to make that sound. Uh, one of the things that, that I try to do as a drummer is I don't necessarily keep time. Again, this, this is important for me to say when I, I guess from a musical point of view, I react to Giza and I react to Tony. So um, uh, if Tony's playing like unbelievably loud parts, then I try to, I try to uh, be as intimate as possible with those loud parts as a percussionist and I play as an orchestrationist, um, or orchestration alley. Uh, that, that induces a very loud sound. We were probably one of the first bands to go in to a studio and actually turn the amps like up to number 10. <laughs> um, and back then, a lot of producers that heard us were saying, you know, you, you can't record like that. You, you have to like turn everything down and then let me do it. And we said no. And uh, luckily we got the right producer at the time that just says, yeah, this is the, the sound that I want. And just mic'd it up and just let it, you know, let it, he didn't care that the bass was all distorted and everything, which was unheard of in those days. The band, band plays very much from the heart. Then he, it's all been, sat, you know, I just sing in that sense. That's what I've felt anyway for the last 30 years of where, how, however long we've been playing. That's how I've always felt it. I can feel the emotions that go on. And I think that combines for that.